Hello everyone, welcome back to how to solve the Rubik's Cube using logic. This is part three, which is on uh, the second layer edge pieces. So what we're gonna do in this video is we are going to fill in these four slots to create uh, or to finish off the, the first two layers. Uh, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna find the four edge pieces and insert them. So the first thing we're going to do is we need to find an edge piece to insert. So how we're going to figure that out is basically it's going to be any edge piece, not corner piece, without yellow on it, on the top layer. Because we want to work with the top layer, not the leftover slots here, uh, just to save moves. Because it will be extra moves to, for example, take out an edge piece from here and then reinsert it somewhere else versus just inserting the edge piece from the top layer immediately. So, uh, for example, this blue-orange edge piece um, will go here, so we can just use this as our example. Now, how we're going to orient this is actually just how it is right now, with the top sticker color being opposite of the side, or however you want to remember that, but basically just in this orientation. Uh, another example, if it was this, then um, we'd orient it like this, if it was this blue-red piece. So just figure out a way to remember that somehow, uh, but that's the orientation that it's going to be in. Now that we have oriented the piece correctly, what we're going to do now is we're going to rotate the cube. Now how you figure out which way to rotate the cube from this orientation is you look at the piece that you're inserting. So this is blue-orange, and we look at the center pieces. So here's blue, here's orange, so we're going to turn it to the orange side. So if this was blue-red, we'd turn it this way, but since it's blue-orange, we're turning it this way. So now what we're going to do is we're going to uninsert this corner piece, and then pair up these two, uh, the corner and edge, and then reinsert them. So uh, you can remember the first move that we're going to do uh, because you can remember it as it's you're going to be moving the slot where this with this edge piece is going to go. So this is going to be our first move. So once again, from this orientation, this will be our first move because uh, it contains the slot where we're going to put this piece. So first move. And now we're going to move it this way, not this way. We don't want that. But this way. So once again, the first three moves, we're uninserting this corner like that. And now we're going to uh, move this corner piece back over the corner slot. And we're basically going to insert it just like how we did before, if you remember, like that. But if we watch what's actually happening, uh, you can see how these are going to be paired up. So the first move pairs up the pieces, the second move uh, inserts them into the slot, and then the third move uh, puts everything back, and now you have both the corner and the edge piece solved. So uh, I'll do that one more time. So once again, this orientation of the edge piece and the center piece we're going to move it to the uh, proper side, which you can tell by the other color of the edge piece. Now we're going to move up the layer that contains this edge piece, or contains a slot. Then uninsert that corner, like so. Move the corner back over the slot. And then reinsert the corner. Okay, so now uh, we're going to do the reverse case of that. So I will use this green orange as an example for that. So we're doing green orange, so that's going to go in between these two pieces right here. And since green is on top, we're going to orient it like this. And since it has orange on it, instead of turning it this way, now we're going to turn it to the orange side. So it's the same thing, you're just going to be using your left hand and what we're going to do, once again, bring up the corner, uninsert it, 
move it back over, and then pair up the pieces with the first move, insert the pair with the second move, and then move everything back on the third move. So I'll do that again. So from this orientation again, rotate it to the proper side. So orange, orange, bring up the corner, uninsert the corner, move the corner back over its proper slot, and then reinsert the corner. And if it helps, you can look at it like this, moving that block out of the way and inserting, just like before. Uh, now we come to a special case that I'll go over. Um, it's when you have a piece trapped that you want to use. Now really in a solve you do this one first uh, just in case it pushes out this piece but I'm just gonna go over this for the sake of time now. So basically all you have to do is do one of those uh, two sets of moves to get this out. So we're basically just gonna be inserting a random piece from the top in here um, just with the moves. So basically can do either one, the right-handed one or the left-handed one. Just move the face containing the piece or the edge piece that you're trying to get out. So for a left hand, I could just do this and it gets rid of it. And you can do the same thing for right hand. So that's the only really special case um, for inserting edges in the second layer and that pretty much covers all of it so uh, hopefully you can learn how to do this step and make sure you practice this before going on to the next step and the next step is going to be solving the yellow cross so uh, congratulations on completing the first two layers and thank you for watching